In this particular class, we are going to study about direct and indirect organogenesis. In plant biotechnology, you must be familiar with concepts like totipotency, dedifferentiation, redifferentiation, and in today's class, we are going to study about direct and indirect organogenesis. For direct organogenesis, we are taking up an example of regeneration of shoots from axillary bud. For indirect organogenesis, we are going to induce calli from leaf tissue. The callus that are induced from the leaf tissue, later they are induced to produce shoots. The first important thing in the plant tissue culture is working in aseptic condition. So all protocols, all steps are performed in a laminar airflow chamber. What we try to do now is to surface sterilize the plants. There are two types of the plants that we can use to prepare explants. One is in vitro grown plants for which we do not have to do a surface sterilization. However, if the plants are grown in an open environment, then those plant tissues should be surface sterilized before we prepare the explants. Here, we are going to surface sterilize both the shoot as well as the leaf tissues of a plant. The shoot will be used as a axillary bud explant and the leaf tissue will be used as a explant after surface sterilization. So the surface sterilization process consists of sequential washing of the plant tissue using sterile water with a detergent in order to remove the dust particles, the clay particles or the soil that sticks to the plant tissue. The second step would be to treat the plant tissue with a 70% ethanol which is a disinfectant. Later, the ethanol treated plant tissues will be treated with a chemical. It can be 1% sodium hypochlorite or 0.1% mercury chloride or it can be even homemade Lysol, Clorox or even antibiotic solutions or even bromine water. However, sodium hypochlorite is commercially available and we use a concentration of 1%. The timing of treatment depends upon the type of explants that we use. So the first thing that we are going to do is we washed it with water. Second, we are going to wash it using a disinfectant which is 70% ethanol. So ethanol is added and the explants will be washed for two to three minutes in ethanol and the ethanol will be discarded. So to this particular plant tissue, 1% sodium hypochlorite will be added. And as I said earlier, the timing of the treatment with sodium hypochlorite differs from one type of explant to another explant. You can use even 0.1% or 1% mercury chloride. However, because mercury chloride is toxic, we avoid using mercury chloride. So after washing with sodium hypochlorite, we discard the sodium hypochlorite and we wash it with copious amount of sterile milliliter water at least three times each five minutes to remove the excess sodium hypo present in the plant tissue. You can 
perform this particular surface sterilization in sterile falcon tubes or sterile beakers conical flasks or sterile petri plates depending upon the plant tissue that you use and the size of the tissue the vessel that you use can vary so this is the second wash that is being done using water after the second wash the leaf discs the leaf and the shoot tissue the stem tissue will be transferred on to a petri plate and the explants will be prepared the shoot explant for direct organogenesis will be prepared in such a way that it contains at least one or two axillary bud the leaf explant will be prepared by removing the midrib discarding the midrib and cutting the leaf tissue into small bits so here the shoot explant is cut in such a way that it will carry at least one or two axillary buds so the shoot explant is prepared and this shoot explant will be transferred on to ms media with 3% sucrose ms vitamins and oxen to cytokinin ratio 1 is to 2 the ph of the media is 5.8 so the shoot explants are transferred nicely and slowly and they are inserted into the ms media the shoot explants will take probably a week to 10 days in order to put forth new shoots from the axillary bud the leaf explants are prepared by cutting out the midrib and discarding the midrib and making small pieces of leaf bits using the scalpel blade the margin of the leaf bits are cut in order to expose the cells to the hormones the media that is used for indirect organogenesis contains ms media ms vitamins 3% sucrose and oxen to cytokinin in the ratio 1 is to 1 normally this particular indirect organogenesis is regeneration of a plant via the production of calli this production of calli or the mass division of cells to produce undifferentiated cells would take minimum of 3 to 4 weeks to form you can notice the development of calli by the change in the morphology of the leaf bit the leaf bits would form cup shaped or curl shaped or curly in order to accommodate the growing cells or the dividing cells
So this is the regeneration of the plant from the axillary bud after 10 days. So this is a, an easy method of doing or regenerating a plant from the axillary bud. And I hope you would like to try it at home or in your lab. Thank you very much for attending Direct